The hare and the tortoise. At an animal get together, the proud hare was boasting of his speed before the other animals. I can beat anyone in a race, said he. I have beaten several animals in a race. Then he said, I challenge anyone here to race against me. All the animals were quiet and some were convinced by the words of the hare. The crow said, He is right! I have witnessed his victory many times. No one had the courage to accept his challenge. The hare was very happy and filled with pride. The tortoise was sitting in a corner and watching the proud hare challenging the whole jungle. Everyone was feeling insulted. The tortoise said quietly, I accept your challenge. All the animals looked at the corner where the tortoise was sitting. Everyone was surprised and some animals laughed as if a joke had been cracked among them. <laughs> that is a good joke, said the hare. I could dance around you all the way. <laughs> Keep your boasting till you've been beaten, answered the tortoise. Shall we race? The fox was chosen as the judge for the race by the animals sitting in the mating. The fox fixed a date and time for the race and all the animals were invited to attend the historic race which seemed one-sided. Everyone was sure of the hare's victory but were praying for tortoise success. night previous to the day of the race, the hare was seen inviting several animals to watch the historic race. He was so busy boasting that he could not even sleep. On the day of the race, every animal reached the spot well in time. So a course was fixed and a start was made. The hare started dancing around the tortoise. He insulted the tortoise a lot. He ran a little. And then, when the tortoise reached near him, he ran a little more. After making a lot of fun of the tortoise, he ran almost out of sight. All the animals thought, why has the tortoise chosen to make himself a laughing matter? They saw the hare stop running and to show his contempt for the tortoise, they saw him lay down to have a nap. The tortoise plodded on and plodded on and when the hare awoke from his nap, he saw the tortoise just near the winning post. The hare was shocked. He tried to run but could not run fast enough to save the race. 
there was a lot of cheering. All the animals were happy, for the proud hare lost the historic place. The moral of the story is, slow and steady wins the race. The Bear and the Two Travellers Two friends were travelling together through a jungle. <laughs> while coming back from a fair after selling their crops. <laughs> they suddenly heard the growl of a bear, which met them on their way. This made them furious. One of them knew how to climb a tree. He quickly climbed up a tree and hid himself in its branches. His friend was left alone under the tree. Fearing that he would be attacked, he fell flat on the ground. When the bear came up, him with its snout and smelt him all over. He held his breath and acted as if he was dead. He knew that the bear would not touch a dead body. The bear soon left him as it was convinced that the person lying on the ground was dead. When it was gone, the other traveller descended from the tree and anxiously inquired of his friend what it was the bear had whispered in his ear. He gave me this advice, his friend replied. Never travel with a friend who deserts you at the approach of danger. The moral of the story is, misfortune tests the sincerity of friends. The Cat and Venus once there lived a cat who used to hunt for mice in a village. The cat used to play from door to door for searching its prey. One day, the cat saw a handsome young man in a house. The cat fell in love with the handsome young man. wanted to marry the handsome young man and entreated Venus to change her into a form of a woman. Venus consented to her request. And transformed her into a beautiful girl. so that the youth saw her and loved her and took her home as his bride. The cat was very happy and thanked Venus for helping her. While the couple were living happily, a few days later, the Venus wished to know if the cat in her change of shape had also altered her habits of life. The Venus let down a mouse in her home saw the mouse and forgetting her present condition started up from the couch and pursued the mouse wishing to eat it. The young man was surprised of such an act of his wife while Venus was much disappointed and again caused her to return to her former shape. The moral of the story is nature exceeds nurture.